Being born right in the middle of World War II was life-threatening for Marta Kristen. Her mother did all she could to save her life, even if it meant sending her away to an underground orphanage right after birth. This video reveals everything you need to know about the Norwegian actress, from her childhood to her journey to fame and everything in between. Before we get into the video, I've discovered that only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, kindly consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. From a Norwegian orphan to a movie star. For the past decades, Marta Kristen has built a reputation for herself as one of Hollywood's most powerful actresses. She spent most of the 1960s and 1970s establishing herself in the movie industry and building a solid audience. Even years after retiring, she is still celebrated for her interesting movie appearances. But just like most phenomenal entertainers, Marta passed through a series of challenges at an early age. The fact that she was able to rise above these challenges and become a phenomenal actress is quite impressive. Marta's mother got pregnant by a German soldier during World War II. While she was still pregnant with Marta, she had to hide her belly because she was afraid that she would be killed if her pregnancy was seen. She later gave birth to Marta on the 26th of February 1945 in Norway. Marta was taken away immediately to a hospital where she was then placed in an orphanage. She had little to no contact with her birth parents all through her childhood as she spent most of her foundational years in the orphanage. Unfortunately, Marta's father was killed during the war. After an unstable childhood and several years in the orphanage, Marta's life completely transformed when she was adopted by an American couple from Detroit. Even though she was still very young at the time, she was happy to be chosen by a family that loved her very much. In fact, she revealed in a later interview that her adoptive parents treated her so well and encouraged her to pursue her dreams of being an actress. Through her encouragement and support, she was able to move to Los Angeles in 1959 to begin an acting career. After honing her craft for several months and attending several auditions, she was able to get her first ever role in 1961. Her debut appearance was in the American television series Alfred Hitchcock Presents, after which she was selected to play her first major role as Laura Lay in the 1965 movie Beach Blanket Bingo. After her first few performances, she received the role that completely transformed her career. She was selected to play the role of Judy Robinson in the television series Lost in Space, and this turned out to be her breakthrough role. Marta as Judy Robinson in Lost in Space. All through the 1960s, Marta appeared in several interesting movies and television shows. Her roles were enjoyable and she kept on improving with each role that she got. However, she completely gained the undivided attention of television viewers at the time when she started appearing in the American science fiction television series Lost in Space. Her role was that of Judy Robinson, the oldest child of Professor John Robinson. The show portrayed the life and adventures of a family who struggles to survive in the depths of space. Marta's role contributed greatly to the success of the show and she gained lots of fans from the show as well. For the entire duration of the show from 1965 to 1968, Marta made her character realistic and played her role to the best of her ability. Even though her career benefited immensely from her time on the show, she began to get worried when she noticed that her scripts were becoming shorter. It became more focused on two characters and less in the entire Robinson's family. But even with this challenge, Marta still showed up and acted excellently. Her role as Judy Robinson remains unforgettable and she is still receiving accolades all over the world for her performance. An Interesting Hollywood Career All through her career from the 1960s up until 2020, Marta dropped amazing performances in all the movies and series she was selected to star in. She took her career seriously and did everything in her power to stand out amongst other Hollywood actresses. For her, being an actress was a dream come true, and she didn't take it for granted. Her childhood may not have presented her with an opportunity to dream big, but her adoptive parents gave her hope to reach for the stars. Marta definitely used the opportunities well and made the most of her time as a Hollywood star. One thing that made her stand out was the fact that she genuinely enjoyed acting. The way she approached her roles and brought her characters to life was proof that she loved her job as an actress. She also brought versatility to screens as she played several roles in different genres of films. 
She was one of the few actresses who could act as an innocent woman in one movie, a funny person in another, and a ruthless character in the next. She had no problem with taking on diverse roles, and this made her one of the most demanded actresses in the 1970s. She appeared in films like the action thriller drama film Terminal Island and several others like Battle Beyond the Stars and Once. Towards the end of her career, she got involved in voice acting. She voiced a character in the 2009 animated short film The Bolt Who Screwed Christmas. Her career in Hollywood was indeed an interesting one, and she enjoyed every bit of it. Marta Kristen, up close and personal. Even with all the fame she acquired all through her career, Marta preferred to keep her personal life private. The only time she was in the media was when she was being praised for her performance in a movie or commercial. As a result of her privacy, most of her viewers have been curious to know about her personal life. Most people want to know what she's like in person and more about the romantic relationships she has been involved in. Marta is actually one of the few Hollywood stars who is down to earth. Throughout her career, she maintained a good relationship with her colleagues and also treated the people around her well. She is said to have a calm aura and a magnetic personality. When it comes to relationships, she's actually been married twice. She got married to her first husband, Terry Treadwell, in 1964 at the time when her career was flourishing. Their marriage lasted for 10 years and they had a daughter together. Unfortunately, their marriage came to an end in 1973. A year after her divorce, she met Kevin Kane, who she dated for four years. They later got married on the 18th of November, 1978. Their marriage remained strong over the years and they supported each other in their respective careers for decades. They lived together in their home in Santa Monica, California with two rescue dogs. Unfortunately, in 2016, Marta announced through her Facebook page that her husband passed away. Since then, she's remained single and focused on her personal goals. She continues to live a private life doing the things that she considers important. The present day Marta Kristen. The last movie project that Marta was involved in was in 2009 and she's been absent from screens since then. Even though she doesn't make movie appearances anymore, she's continued to express her love for acting through her social media posts. She also shares inspirational messages with her fans on social media from time to time. Marta is currently 75 years old and she's aged gracefully. She is passionate about enjoying every second of her life. She still attends sci-fi conventions from time to time and lives in her home in Santa Monica till date. Marta's story and determination continues to inspire people across the world, and her creative works are still appreciated even till date. Which of these facts about Marta Kristen caught your interest the most? Do let us know in the comment section below and check out the next video in this series.